All right, boys, we got money on Raw for you guys. Um, Bianca Belair for Specky Lynch. So incredibly close. It's the sort of innovative offense that Bianca Belair is able to utilize because of her power advantage over the champion. Let's take a look at this again. This is impressive. Nearly putting Lynch through the ring. And nearly becoming Raw Women's Champion in the process. But big time Bex survives. That's what you call championship effort right by Bianca Belair. But if you're Bianca Belair, you have to be thinking, what do I have to do to get this match over? I disagree, Jimmy. I think Bianca came into this fight knowing it was going to be a long night. Bianca realizes she's got plenty left in the tank. And if Bianca Be Lynch might be asking, what do I have to do to keep my championship right now? Belair walking up the turnbuckle. Oh, great escape. Oh. Lynch gets a boot up just in time. Lynch now first on the middle rope. Belair right oh. there to meet Lynch. And that's something we haven't seen a lot of. A lot of airborne attacks. Once again, the power display. Hey, Becky's getting a little too familiar with the air tonight. Look at the height. Look at the power. At this stage of the match, are you kidding me? Oh. Effortless strength from Bianca Belair. I think she sees gold. Bianca Belair feels it. Oh, Ooh. Lynch with the knee got the knees up. Great defense move to the roll-up. Oh, and the rock on. Oh, slam. Could that be it? Finally. One, two. Oh, oh the Bianca got to on the rope. Talk about a veteran move, Corey. It's Bianca Belair with the veteran move. Getting to the rope great, just in time. Great awareness by Belair. Almost surprising that Becky Lynch didn't realize. I wish Becky would stop doing that move, man. It's the rock bottom, fellas. It is the rock bottom. You see this gentleman? You see the panic right now? Becky, guys? stop oh, stealing the rock to me. You would never think that's the rock. It, it is very, very smart by Bianca Belair. This is veteran wisdom taking her time on the outside, regaining her wits. Becky. Uh -oh, here comes Lynch. Oh, no. Yuck, caught her. Becky, let's go. Yeah, poor girl, she said for me. Pick her up and stop. Bro, stop doing this. Just pick her up and get her back in the ring. One, two. Kiss out. You cannot believe that these pins have not worked two in a row. And now it's Becky Lynch in search of respite on the outside, and here's one of many reasons why. The power of the challenger. Dropping the champion under Becky our mouth. Now row. Lynch perched on the top rope. With a strike from the air. No. Bianca Belair out of the way. Oh, face first yet again. Creative evasion by Belair. And the strength once again. At the first oh, the face first. Yeah. We have Amazon. to see a new champion now. Oh. Oh. And for the first time in this matchup, a look of frustration washes over yeah, the face of the, the challenger. Rope. Almost yeah, hit it. Belair not stopping. Now on the top rope. Target applied. Uh -huh. Here comes Belair. They're going to fly. No. Airborne, but nobody home. But look so fast back to her feet. Lynch looking for a boot in the corner. Belair a step ahead. Oh, Bianca. The challenger of the champion in position. But Becky's got the ropes. Oh, she's got to hold on to safety. She's letting go of the turnbuckle. Oh, no. No. That is something to do with, man. Surprise. I'm surprised they didn't they even let her do a clean finish. I'm really surprised because I thought this this was gonna end in a DQ and then you know how typical typical WWE booking they end matches in the DQ and then they'll come back to it in the main event. I thought they was gonna pull this crap off, but no. Uh but Becky retains and we most likely are going to see Becky versus Charlotte as Survivor Series. Since the heat has been going on backstage and everybody's hearing about it, now, now that's what's now that's the reason why fans want to see the match. So, yeah. But 
Becky versus Charlotte for the 1,000th time at Survivor Series. Or we can get Becky versus Sasha. If WWE plans for Charlotte to drop the title to, Char to, uh, to Sasha, did, what did I say? Yeah, if Charlotte is going to drop the title to Sasha, they're going to do it before Survivor Series. I feel that they're going to pull it off. With the last minute booking before Survivor Series, they'll put the title on Sasha. That way they can keep Becky and Charlotte away from each other in the back. So I don't blame them. But yeah. Uh, Charlotte is trying to get herself fired, man. But if Becky retains. So yeah. See if there's anything, anything planned. But man, Bianca is a loser, man. God. It, it, it's just really sad for Bianca to get the short end of the stick, man. Honestly, man.